Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to tell about a story which is called, Panda Picasso, Percy's Painting Party. Enjoy it! Once upon a time, in the heart of Bamboo Grove, there lived a charming panda named Percy. Percy wasn't just any ordinary panda, he had a special talent. He could paint like no other panda in the entire forest. His paintings were vibrant, full of life, and they always brought a smile to anyone who saw them. Percy's home was a cozy little cave nestled amidst the lush green bamboo trees. He had a small studio inside his cave where he spent most of his days, happily painting away. Percy loved nothing more than splashing colors onto his canvas and bringing his imagination to life. One sunny morning, as Percy was putting the finishing touches on a beautiful landscape painting, he had a brilliant idea. Why not share my love for painting with all my friends in the forest, he thought to himself. And so, he decided to host a painting party right there in his studio. Excitedly, Percy began to plan his painting party. He gathered all his paints, brushes, and canvases and arranged them neatly in his studio. He then started making a list of all his friends whom he wanted to invite. There was Benny the bear, Rosie the rabbit, Sammy the squirrel, and many more. Once his list was ready, Percy set out to deliver the invitations. He put on his favorite polka dot bow tie, grabbed a stack of colorful invitations, and headed out into the forest. The first stop on Percy's invitation delivery journey was Benny's den. Benny was a big, friendly bear with a heart as warm as his fur. When Percy handed him the invitation, Benny's eyes lit up with excitement. A painting party? Count me in, Percy, he exclaimed, giving Percy a bear hug. Next, Percy made his way to Rosie's burrow. Rosie was a graceful rabbit with fluffy white fur and a twitchy nose. When she read the invitation, her eyes sparkled with delight. Oh, how wonderful, she giggled. I can't wait to paint with you, Percy. One by one, Percy delivered the invitations to all his friends in the forest. Each one was thrilled at the idea of a painting party and eagerly accepted the invitation. As Percy made his way back home, he couldn't help but feel a warm glow of happiness inside. He knew that his painting party was going to be a magical event filled with laughter, creativity, and friendship. Little did Percy know, his painting party was about to be the most extraordinary adventure yet. But that's a tale for another day. The morning of Percy's painting party arrived, and the forest was buzzing with excitement. The sun peeked through the leaves, casting a golden glow over the bamboo grove. Percy had spent the early hours preparing his studio for the big event. He had set up easels, arranged paint palettes, and laid out colorful aprons for his friends. As the clock struck noon, Percy's friends began to arrive one by one. Benny lumbered in with a cheerful smile, followed by Rosie, hopping with joy. Soon, the studio was filled with laughter and chatter as everyone gathered around, eager to unleash their creativity. Percy welcomed each of his friends with a warm hug and handed them each a blank canvas and a set of paints. Let your imagination run wild, he exclaimed, his eyes twinkling with excitement. The air was filled with the sound of brushes swishing against canvas as the friends immersed themselves in their artwork. Benny painted a towering mountain landscape, complete with a roaring waterfall cascading down its side. Rosie crafted a vibrant meadow scene, dotted with colorful flowers and fluttering butterflies. As the afternoon wore on, Percy noticed something magical happening. Despite their different painting styles and techniques, each friend's masterpiece was a reflection of their unique personality. Sammy the squirrel's painting was filled with playful swirls and dashes, just like his energetic personality. Lila the fox created a stunning sunset scene, capturing the warmth and beauty of the forest. But the real magic of the painting party wasn't just in the artwork. It was in the laughter shared, the friendship strengthened, and the joy that filled the air. Percy looked around at his friends, their faces lit up with smiles, and felt a swell of happiness in his heart. 
As the sun began to dip below the horizon, casting a warm glow over the forest, Percy knew it was time to unveil his own masterpiece. With a flourish, he unveiled a breathtaking painting of the bamboo grove, bathed in the soft light of dusk. His friends gasped in awe at the beauty of Percy's creation. With the painting party coming to an end, Percy gathered his friends around for a group photo, capturing the memories of this special day. As they said their goodbyes and made their way home, Percy couldn't help but feel a deep sense of contentment. As he closed the door to his studio and settled down for the night, Percy knew that this painting party would be a memory he would cherish forever. And as he drifted off to sleep, a smile tugged at the corners of his mouth, knowing that he had shared his love for painting with his friends and brought a little bit of happiness to their lives. The days passed, and Percy's painting party became the talk of the forest. His friends couldn't stop gushing about the wonderful time they had and the beautiful paintings they had created. The memory of that magical day lingered in the air, filling the bamboo grove with warmth and joy. Inspired by the success of his painting party, Percy decided to host more events to share his love for art with others. He organized drawing workshops for the younger animals in the forest, teaching them how to bring their imagination to life on paper. He even started a community mural project, where everyone in the forest could come together to create a masterpiece that would adorn the walls of their favorite gathering spot. As Percy's reputation as Panda Picasso grew, animals from far and wide came to visit him, eager to learn from the master painter. Percy welcomed each visitor with open arms, sharing his techniques and wisdom with anyone who asked. His studio became a bustling hub of creativity, filled with laughter, inspiration, and the sweet scent of freshly squeezed bamboo juice. But amidst all the excitement and fame, Percy never forgot the true meaning of his art. For him, painting was not just about creating beautiful pictures, it was about bringing people together, spreading happiness, and making the world a brighter place. And so, with every stroke of his brush, Percy painted a little piece of happiness into the world. His artwork adorned the walls of homes and galleries, spreading joy wherever it went. But the true masterpiece was the love and friendship he shared with his friends in the bamboo grove. As the years passed, Percy's painting party became a beloved tradition in the forest, eagerly anticipated by young and old alike. And on each anniversary of that magical day, Percy would gather his friends once again to celebrate the joy of creativity and the beauty of friendship. And so, dear reader, our story comes to a close with Percy and his friends living happily ever after in the bamboo grove. But remember, the magic of Percy's painting party lives on in the hearts of all who attended, reminding us that with a little imagination and a lot of love, anything is possible. I hope you enjoy listening to Panda Picasso, Percy's Painting Party.